We're starting with a t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then run through the spin cycle on a washer to get it to a damp state. Start with this design. You need to mark the center of the shirt. So if, you, if everything's lined up properly on the top of the shirt, you can usually mark where the tag is. And then to mark the center point of the bottom, catch it just under the armpits. Make sure it's smooth all the way down, and you can simply fold it in half. Hold that center point, and mark a line there. You have the center of the shirt. Go ahead and fold the shirt inside out. Pinch it by that center line that was created with the two marks. Pinch that, pull it up, throw it down. Take the shirt, the sleeves, put your hand through both sleeves, pull through. Line up the seams. And make sure that that's as smooth as you can get it. So that's centered. Pinch it again on both ends. Flip, turn, and grab the other end of the shirt and flip it over so that you have the shirt folded in half. So the top here we have the back of the front of the shirt centered and this is the back of the back of the shirt center line. Once you've done that You need to mark a line at the top that sweeps about from there, like that. And I'm going to begin folding at the bottom. at about a one and a half inch or so. I'm keeping the end flush that's on the center side. That's the one I'm concerned about for this design. Okay, when I get to the part where it starts curving. I want the curve to line up with that. So I'll actually begin pinching this and pulling it up. Pinch, pull that up. Pinch. And one final pinch. Now this doesn't line up quite perfectly, so I'll actually go through and fix this. Until it's lined up reasonably well. And then I will go Grab the artificial sinew. I'm going to go over maybe a half an inch or so from the edge. I do go around twice with the sinew and then pull tight until it actually binds with itself. You can actually let go and the wax sinew will hold itself in place. 
And we'll do two more, pull again, and then I want to go about an inch and a half or so from that point make sure the sinew goes in line with that line and then it's the same on the back so that it's a nice crisp line tighten that two more rounds pull taut. Now I'm going to take the sinew and form an X between the first and the second line. This one can be a bit tricky. Sometimes it slips and you'll have to redo that part. In this case it held. So we'll actually go over it a second time. Making sure that the sinew on the back lines up as well. Pull that taut. And then do the other side of the X. Until that lines up. Pull that taut, go over that X two more times, and pull it taut, and you've got the X formed that you'll be using for part of the design. So for the rest, mark off. Two and a half inches or so. For each of those. Same method for the sinew. Two rounds, pull taut. Two more rounds, pull taut again. Go to the next mark. Same thing. And then one final time. And pull that taut. And a second timer on that. Since this is also the end, I'm just going to wrap lightly to make sure it stays intact. And then cut that off. And tie it back. So that it doesn't unwind. Now this And just grab a rubber band, lightly catch it, just so that it doesn't unravel too much. This will be a solid color, so you don't have to go too insane with that. And that's it. Next step is adding the die. Since this is an ice die, you need a grate to set the shirt on, as well as an aluminum pan, or some pan that you won't use for food. This one's slightly short for the grate, so it's been pushed over. Grab a piece of cardboard, cut it to fit, and tape it up so that you can fit over. 
the shirt. In this case, I've got a few different dyes ready. I ice dye with a different, slightly different color on each side to give more depth to the final piece. So I've got black, gray, grape, amethyst, turquoise, brilliant blue, yellow, and possibly daffodil, and an emerald green and a bright green. I'm going to switch those two. The first row is the side that's going to be on the front, and the back row will be on the back side. Okay, so let's begin. We'll add black where the cross, the X is, as well as the rest of that part of the shirt. Now with ice dyeing and using powder, you do waste quite a bit of powder. But the final result is very different than what you could accomplish with any other method. So we'll go with the grape for the second. I apply it pretty thick and heavy. If you like white seeping through your designs, then you don't have to apply as much powder. Next is the turquoise. When you're doing any type of tie-dye, you need to keep in mind what the colors look like that are touching because they will mix in the design. So you wouldn't want to have purple next to brown because that would not turn out quite as well as having a purple next to a blue where they blend together. And this is the yellow. And then it's just a matter of adding ice. And that should be it. Now you just need to let it sit until the ice melts completely. Indoors in the winter, this could take half a day. If it's in the summer, it's at 120 degrees outside. The ice can melt in 30 minutes or so, and then you can flip it over and continue to the next side. So lucky for you, you're just watching a video, and it'll just be a few seconds. So the first side has melted all the way through, and it's actually been sitting a couple of hours past that. So we can move on to the next side. So flip this over. And I'm going with a charcoal gray opposite the black. Actually, before I start, I'm going to put down a little bit of soda ash just to make sure that these colors bond. There we go. Okay, so charcoal. Opposite the, I believe it was grape, is an amethyst. I'll 
opposite the turquoise is brilliant blue. Opposite yellow is daffodil. And opposite bright green is emerald. Okay, with all of that in place, just add ice. And once all the ice is in place, just let it melt and then we'll do a washout. It's been over 24 hours, so it's time for the washout. We'll start with cold water, especially to get off the residual powder since this was ice dyed. Go ahead and take off the rubber band. And start taking off the sinew. And with the sinew off, start Washing it out more. And switch over to hot. We'll get a quick look at this, throw it in the washer, run a couple of cycles in the wash, and then show a finished picture.
This is still inside out, but it doesn't make much of a difference. 